Have you ever looked up on somebody's roof and seen solar panels that were dusty, dirty, or covered in pollen? They couldn't possibly be producing much electricity, right? Well, they might be working better than you'd think, but cleaning them could still be a good idea. Hey everyone, it's Ben Zentera from Solar Reviews. Today we're talking about solar panel cleaning. Let's get into it. The first thing to know about cleaning home solar panels is, for most people, it's not recommended. They're made from very sturdy and long-lasting materials, like hydrophobic tempered glass and aluminum. They're designed to withstand decades of harsh sun and weather, and most solar arrays are tilted so that rain and snow will run off of them, carrying most dust and dirt with it. Of course, some dirt and grime might collect over time, but power output losses will likely be negligible. Researchers have found that solar panels in places with moderate climates see just 3% annual losses from soiling. That said, some people really do need to clean their solar panels at least once or twice a year. That same research found that solar panels in very dusty environments, like the Middle East, North Africa, and India, can have their output reduced by 40% or more during the course of a year. In the USA, places like the desert southwest and southern California can get pretty dry and dusty. If you live in one of these places, or if your panels are tilted less than 15 degrees, they might start looking like a Mars rover that's been out there for a few years. So how do you do it? Well, to get started, never use anything abrasive. For most dust and dirt, just a simple stream of water from a garden hose will do. Make sure to clean in the very early morning because spraying cold water onto hot panels can cause cracks in the glass. If you need a little more cleaning, choose a soft bristled flow through brush with a long extension handle that you can use from the ground. These brushes spray out gentle streams of water from behind the brush head, allowing you to scrub carefully while dirt runs down the surface of the panels. We recommend never getting on a roof to do this kind of cleaning yourself. Roofs are dangerous and only bonded and insured professionals should do this kind of work. Speaking of professionals, if you live in California or another dusty place with a lot of solar, you might have seen ads for solar panel cleaning and wondered, is it worth it? This is a popular side hustle business that has sprung up on the internet and people are charging hundreds of dollars for cleaning and they're promising big jumps in solar production after they do their work. So let's look at some numbers to be sure. Let's assume it's been several dusty years since the installation date for an eight kilowatt rooftop solar system in Southern California and the panels are producing 20% less than they did in the first year. Electricity is expensive there, with an average cost of 35 cents per kilowatt hour from Southern California Edison. Over the course of a year, the loss of that 20% of energy would equal about $1,000 in missed savings for the homeowner. Now we've seen average prices of around $15 per panel, which amounts to $300 for people who have 20 panels on their roof. So you can spend $300 to save 1,000 that year in Southern California if your panels are that dirty but they probably won't be after just one year. The loss of energy will probably be more like 5%, meaning the savings are much smaller, or even negative, if you pay to get the panels cleaned every year. And don't forget that once they're clean, they just start getting dirty again right away. In places with cheaper electricity, like Arizona, the missed savings from a single year of dusty solar panels are more like $50. Not really enough to justify the cost of a professional cleaning, but you might be able to improve the situation slightly with just that spray of water at dawn every now and again. Now, you'll want to keep tabs on your solar production using your solar panel monitoring app, which should be included from your installer or from the company that makes your solar inverters. If your panels look dirty and energy production is down from the year before, give them a squirt. We'll put a link in the description to our article about the best solar monitoring systems. So, to sum it all up, your panels probably won't need regular cleaning as long as they're tilted and you live in a temperate climate. If you do need to clean your panels, just use water along with a very soft brush if necessary. Don't get on the roof and be wary of hiring professionals that cost hundreds of dollars because the return on your investment might not be worth it. Well, that's basically it for solar panel cleaning. Have you cleaned your solar panels and seen big gains in power output? Let us know down in the comments below. While you're down there, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out one of our other amazing solar videos.